Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to do an update on the situation with Transformers and G.I. Joe comic books. There was a rumor going around, I think it was started by Rich Johnston, that Image would actually be publishing Transformers in G.I. Joe, that they would be taking over for IDW, which has frankly been dropping the ball <laughs> for years now in comics, in movie pitches, in games, pretty much everything. IDW is a company that is in major, major trouble. They just lost the uh, Marvel and uh, Star Wars licenses not too long ago. They've been hemorrhaging cash for years. I mean, we're talking probably three, four years now of just bleeding out money. And of course, you know, a lot of these uh, licensees are probably looking to jump ship to someplace uh, a little more stable. I don't know, but it has been reported that Robert Kirkman with Skybound is in talks to acquire G.I. Joe and Transformers. Uh, this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Again, this does confirm the rumor that Rich Johnston put out there. Uh, it was probably about a week ago, I think which followed on the heels of, uh, you know, another rumor that, that IDW was going to lose the Hasbro licenses. Uh, this totally makes sense. Hasbro's aggressively trying to get into, you know, creating movie franchises or streaming shows or whatever. Uh, IDW doesn't know what the hell it's doing these days. They're losing people, uh, losing cash, and it is a company full of losers at this point. Very sad because I actually used to work for them back in the day and they were okay to work for, but they definitely have, have uh, fallen for sure. And this, this could potentially be the death knell for them because I think if Marvel and Star Wars are leaving, if Disney is pulling those licenses and uh, Hasbro pulls all their licenses, then eventually Nickelodeon will probably pull Ninja Turtles, Sega will probably pull Sonic, and they really don't have much of anything. They're trying to cultivate their own IP, but they really don't have much going on over there, to be sure. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Over 245,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciate it. We do talk about comics, uh, talk about the 1980s, having uh, grown up in the 1980s and 1990s, having worked in the comic book industry and being uh, huge fans of Transformers and G.I. Joe and, and uh, all these great 80s franchises, you know, Masters of the Universe and uh, Geeky Likes My Little Pony and Gem and, and all of that. And so it's always interesting to watch, you know, all these big moves take place. And this isn't the, uh, the first major announcement for sure, of, of people leaving IDW. Again, you know, we've been kind of following <laughs> this situation and it's pretty bad. I mean, IDW beyond hemorrhaging money is hemorrhaging licensees. Uh, Star Wars and Marvel are going. Uh, they're trying to double down on creator-owned content, which is weird because they were uh, very averse to publishing creator-owned content just, you know, five, six, seven years ago. And now here comes the uh, death blow, I think, of Hasbro pulling out. You know, just as in the side, Clover Press is grabbing the Library of American Comics imprint from IDW as well. I mean, just everything. Everything and everybody are leaving IDW at this point. It is absolutely a sinking ship. Um, but, uh, you know, I'll give credit where credit is due. I don't always ag agree with uh, Rich Johnson, but he definitely was right in this case. Um, so going back to The Hollywood Reporter, Kirkman Skybound in talks to acquire G.I. Joe Transformers publishing license exclusive. IDW had been publishing comics based on the Hasbro toys since the mid-2000s to varying degrees of success. Uh, the first run of Transformers, in my opinion, was pretty good, and it's really gone downhill in the last five to eight years. The G.I. Joe and Transformers comics could be getting a new home. Skybound, the imprint run by Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman, is in negotiations with Hasbro to acquire the publishing license to the two properties. The potential deal would be a big loss for IDW, which has been making G.I. Joe and Transformer comics since the mid-2000s. Kirkman, who is known to be a major fan of the toy brands and is said to have personally gotten involved in chasing the rights, is not expected to write any of the new comics. Additionally, if a deal does go through, new books would not be expected to hit shelves until 2023. Skybound had no comment. Comics have been instrumental in the success of both brands, particularly G.I. Joe. 
Uh, when Hasbro relaunched the toy line in 82 as G.I. Joe Real American Hero, it partnered with Marvel uh, for the Saturday morning cartoon. Uh, actually, the, uh, the first thing they did were commercials. And G.I. Joe and Transformers comics were the very first comic books I bought because of the commercials. They were pretty cool. I wish they advertised comics on TV now. But uh, yeah, I bought uh, the very, very first comic book I bought was actually G.I. Joe 14, I think, the one with Destro on the cover. And I bought a Destro action figure because I thought he was cool. I thought he was like a robot. And I was very, very little, but I, I had no idea. And then they had the uh, the miniseries, the Real American Hero uh, miniseries. It was the mass device. And that was like, that was actually Monday through Friday. I remember they ran it uh, every afternoon. After school, I'd come home and watch G.I. Joe. It was pretty cool. And then it just kind of jumped the shark. <laughs> you know, a couple of years later, we've got Cobra Law and all this crazy, crazy shit. Um, talked about Devil's Due and all of that. Marvel started off publishing the Transformers comics, launching the main title in 84. Defunct entity Dreamwave Productions briefly had the license in the early 2000s before IDW snagged it in 2005. Licensed properties are a major part of the business plan for IDW, but in a troubling trend, it has been losing rights as of late. IDW also reportedly lost rights this year to an all-ages Star Wars comic book and an all-ages Marvel comic. Uh, multiple. Multiple comics. Sources say that Hasbro has not been happy with the publisher's output in recent years. It could be the output. Um, they tried this uh, Hasbro shared universe. It could also be the controversy around some of their creators, uh, their hot takes on Twitter. Um, now, again, I don't think this is the sole reason, but the Aubrey Sitterson situation where they kind of double, tripled down on, you know, attacking fans of G.I. Joe who tend to be very, very patriotic. I mean, he's a real American hero. And, uh, you know, there was a big debacle, uh, you know, over that. And I'm actually shocked. Uh, this is, what, 2017? I'm actually shocked that Hasbro didn't pull out then unless they had, like, a five-year agreement or a 10-year agreement. But uh, they did not seem very happy about that. And I know that um, the G.I. Joe books that came after the Aubrey Sitterson situation did not sell very well at all. Now, you know, again, disclaimer, Sitterson has seemingly mended his ways. He's uh, quasi-apologized for stirring the shit. I think so. Uh, to be honest, I think some of the stuff he said was taken out of context. I mean, everybody gives their hot takes on, on Twitter. But it did cause a huge rift in the G.I. Joe community, if I remember correctly. And, uh, you know, that's the problem. When you've got licensed comics, you've got existing fan bases that you have to please. And if you're out there causing trouble then it reflects not only on the comic books, but the brand as a whole, because people look at it like, is this Hasbro? Is this what Hasbro thinks of us? Well, we're not going to buy their action figures anymore. We're not going to support their movies anymore. You know, so you have to, you have to look at the bigger picture. Uh, Skybound, which is also a film and television production entity that oversees the Walking Dead franchise, releases its books through Image Comics. The imprint is known for its long-running hits such as Invincible, uh, Firebirds, Birthright, Manifest Destiny. Uh, Joe and Transformers would be part of the expanding push into licensing for the company, which this year published comics based on video games Summoners, uh, Summoners War, and Trover Saves the Universe. Trover Saves the Universe. A title centered on brick building brand Lego <laughs> will debut next year. Lego Comics. There we go. So yeah, it totally makes sense. It, it tracks. And... Um, you know, I don't blame Hasbro. I mean, they're probably looking at the bigger picture right now. And they're like, yeah, IDW is in trouble. Um, everybody's leaving. And I, I don't even know what they're doing. I think they're just hanging on by their fingertips at this point. I mean, everybody I worked with got gone a couple of years ago. So it's not even the same company. They're playing musical chairs with their publishers. They've got editors in and out. Uh, publishers in and out and you know some of their shareholders or some of the uh, the people on their board are telling them to just sell the damn thing you know they dipped out of, of uh, game publishing which is weird because game publishing was actually profitable for them but I have to wonder many of their games are based on licenses that they're probably gonna lose um, so who the hell knows what's going on with IDW I don't expect them to be around in even two years I think they're going to get absorbed into some other other entity or we'll have like, you know, IDW Dark Horse. But it's like what they have. They've got lock and key and that's that's basically it. 
you know, 30 days of night, I think they have. Um, they really don't have much that's worth anything because they spent all this time chasing licenses and now all these licensees are pulling. So gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we'll talk later.